And we're recording. <clears throat> See how long it takes somebody to show up. As I start a timer. Find the timer, start a timer. Find my pocket knife. Pocket knife is a wall. That's no good. Let's go with a hobby knife then, I guess. Up. This is the bank and money transfer kit. It was a Target exclusive bought for me this Christmas by my girlfriend. Because she's cool. Big old sticker sheet. People already replying to the horrible idea that was even thinking about Google Hangouts. So I'm on Ustream. That's, that's what we're doing here. Two. Start with book one. Bag four and bag three. We'll put on the floor. Yeah, it seems like it's uh, like Google live stream or Google's uh, Hangouts is good for uh, like a Siri or a uh, FaceTime experience, not a a live stream experience. Hey, you've missed a couple. Still wigging that my knife is a wall, but. Hopefully, due to some tricks I've pulled, um, I should have a very good connection speed. Um, the trick being I got a 25-foot Ethernet cable, and we should be directly plugged into the, uh, the network rather than doing Wi-Fi. And I also have a Wi-Fi connection, so maybe that means I'm going to get doubled with throughput. Who knows? So how's everybody now that the weekend started? Yes, I know I'm texting. I'm not being a good host. I'm trying to get Kristen, who bought this for me, in here. So I'm going to build very slowly. Oh, you make fat stacks of cash is what you do here. So just being 100, it's a whole stack of them. That's the cop's head because he's got a smirk. And of course it's Lego, so it gets the the Lucas treatment of 
not a licensed thing, so they don't have guns because that is too violent. So he gets a radio. Uh, no, this is before the uh, Lego City Undercover. Whatever. So there's our cop minifig. Because Google Hangout was having me install a thing and then I could only share links individually, I needed to do something else in order to get it sent out to groups and to be able to record it, and I know how to work Ustream, so shut up, Ken. I have one of those minifigs with my name on it in St. Louis. Um, Defez picked it up for me. Hey, come on. What are you doing here, phone? Um, I think it's the same one as is in. There is a uh, a uh, police chase one. And I think it's the same chip chase or whatever they're calling him um, in that one. Because all robbers fresh out of prison still wearing their their prison stripes are are all criminals fresh out of prison wearing, wearing their prison stripes still uh, just go right back into crime rather than you know changing clothes. So now we build a little police car. So how's everything looking? Is anybody here that was here in my last one with the webcam to tell me if I'm looking better or worse now? Are we still too soon to tell? all the extraneous stuff. Sounds a bit off. Um, does that sound better? <clears throat> I meant frame rate, clarity. Howdy, babe. I'm building your thing. Apparently it was going for default audio, so maybe now it's on the webcam's audio and it'll sound a little bit better. Well, let's shake everything. I just want to optimize the experience best as I can. Let's get CN3661.
so yeah, I had a, a awkward moment as I started uploading some of these old, uh, um, I don't know, I haven't been talking, so it's kind of hard, um, uploaded some of the older videos to YouTube, and uh, had one video that got, oh, I think it's over 100 views already, and then the next one in the series has nine. Still don't understand YouTube, but hey. Well, I'm I don't have the the blue yeti sitting right here. Um, yeah, I could go get some super high quality audio out of this thing, but why? Because there's only so much table space, and to get the good sound on the blue yeti, I've got to be up like this on it. And quite frankly, I don't want to be just following that blue yeti. I did that at TFCon, and people got upset at me. Well, I'd also have to fiddle with knobs, and I have it, I have it set right now. I don't actually have to be up on it. Um, I have it set now so that it can sit on my desk at a comfortable location and get good audio out of it that has taken quite a bit of tweaks. I would have to get it reset to do that, and quite frankly, for just fucking around building Legos, that's more effort than I want to put into it, all right? I don't know if rock band mics are actually uh, USB compatible or if they only pretend to be. Are they actually USB compatible? Made try that at a break. I didn't. Oh, why'd you bend it? He was. Have you seen the price on Big Bad now? She's a pretty good approximation of a light bar with basic parts.
Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, Hardbone. I thought I'd seen where Hardbone price had gone up. Oh, that's what you were talking about. Sticker is bad boy up. Yeah, my whole comment to that news story was, why, like, why pull out the SWAT team, just have one officer in one patrol car sit halfway down the block, everybody leave, wait for him to go outside, get his mail or whatever, and then pop him. Not like, pop him, but, you know. Hopefully not now. Uh, yeah, the whole thing was so I got an email late in the day, uh, Wednesday, saying, "Hey, you need to update your resume. We're putting we're um, for the our marketing department um, <coughs> had uh, keeps resumes on us uh, so that they can." sell us, kind of, sort of, uh, in a, in a not slave labor way, um, <clears throat> to clients. And they said that we're built, we're bidding a construction inspection job in, in, uh, Fort Wayne, which is two and a half hour drive away, and, uh, it rolls very well. And, uh, we see that your, uh, resume is old. So, hey, could you update that? Okay, so start asking around and see what the deal is. Um, there's a project in in Fort Wayne that we're trying to get, and uh, that was one of the names that they were going to put on there. And I guess the email, by the time I had seen it, was old and had already kind of been dealt with. Um, my local boss wants me to stay around because I am better suited for stuff at our office than stuff there. But there was there was quite a bit of uh, potential ul ulcer inducement uh, going on, and he has no good place to hide his crowbar. There's Dash's crowbar. If I do it like that, yeah, like that, I'll kind of do it. Kind of, I said. Wee, that's how fast he's going, the crowbar sticking out. So that was bag and book one. So 
So how did you manage to hurt your finger? You still haven't really gotten that across. Did you get finger into equipment or something? Money briefcases. Oh, I never realized that. So the slats on the back of the uh, lift truck here will take and clip actually onto three luggage handles. And those are actually secure in there. Did you get your finger stuck then between two rolls or something? There's the Mayfig security guard. Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about the commercial without paying fucking $99 a month uh, to become a a member of Ustream or something crazy like that. And then I only get so many minutes of commercial free time. Which is part of the reason why I was trying to look into Google Hangouts. Back bumper, we got a couple plates, we'll throw across everything here. I'm glad you're all right. Um, liquid skin if you have it, or, um, oh, there's a certain type of super glue, actually, that was really designed for wound care by the military, so they could just glue you up, but that's not the topic of our discussion here. You get an antibiotic on it at least. Oh, that's cool. This uh, hinge has two like hard settings.
Ichabod giving me a hard time for drinking my black blood of the earth. Very slowly building on this one. So yes, here shortly I'm going to show you why I'm around about half or less of my bottle. I live build. I need caffeine. I say, hey, what's the best source of caffeine? Black blood of the earth. Thank you. I didn't even think about it for for looks purposes. I just was wearing it today. So I have shirts that are kind of like company uniform stuff. Uh, however, I've had them so long and uh, not been able to get them to get me replacement shirts that uh, they are getting super thin around the collar. Um, to the point of I'm afraid that one day I may try and pull them out of the wash and they will just have evaporated. So I am taking now to wearing other shirts underneath hoodies and pointing at the company dress code policy saying that it is up to the department manager's discretion on workwear. Oh, built a little rack so that I can put the money bags in. I've got space for for four money bags with three of them jammed in the uh, trolley or dolly. Hell, Joe's probably not even here. He barely pays attention. It's on in the background, and then he comes back when I say his name. Or not Joe, um, Ken. What are you trying to sell me, Joe? I didn't do anything to shave the cockpit of code. Uh, the back corners, um, I've seen people talk about you just shave the back corner of the cockpit where it comes down and gouges into the leg plastic. Yeah, let someone that's actually done it tell you.
I wouldn't say it happens all the time, but it doesn't really. grill here. I did something recently to mess up my thumb and I have no idea what it was. But it's been bugging me like crazy. Feels like I strained it or something. high so he's driving like this Okay. Hi. He's very angry at technology. Just do like I did and plug this thing directly into the router. Figure that would be the best way to get rid of my Wi Fi choppiness issues. I do that, but it makes the brown note that much more dangerous. Hi, Andy Rue. You're a good boy. You are. But you smell like a dog, though. He does. Yes, I know banquet one dollar dinners are kind of awful, but you learn how to how to live and budget and buy toys with that. Thank you. I, again, not worn for the stream, just worn because I wear it. Exactly. Wait. Yes. You 
should just put the baby Metroid straight on the neck hole. That's how you get the ladies. What? <laughs> you want to go outside? You go out, okay. <laughs> Brief dog break. Yep, that's kind of part of their game. I knew he was going to bark, but it seems that it gets more reactions to that than anything else I do, so. Look at the cute dog, he's making noise, yay! Or wear headphones, and if the dogs hear it through that, then you're boned. I don't know. So let's get see big Lilo. You're barking at the neighbor dogs. Sorry. Let's see big DM three six six one on the roof. There you go. Uh, this is the the bank and money transfer, so it's actually a uh, like an armored car type thing. Metro Dome, that actually sounds good. Like you planned it that way. So interior section is where you slide these safes.
course, they space this stuff so the guy actually can't hold. Well, maybe he can hold. Like that. There we go. Knock his hat off, of course. You should come down here sometime and you can take a look at all of my Lego. Alright, book three now. Well, if you come down here anytime soon, I still have a stack of stuff. I could probably find something for you to build. or whatever it's supposed to be. I have the free one. I think that's going to be about it for me. Some of them look neat, but... But... Our, our minifig customer, maybe. Alright, so now we start building the bank proper. Like a little ATM branch type of styling. Yeah, those are guys I would love to have, but due to the dreaded finances and the fact that I am stupid about buying a certain building block product, um, don't have the money for. Hold on while I go be the dog. I'll put that break in place. Oh yeah, that's right. You got smart, Lilo. Come on. You pick a fight and then run in the house. Come on, get in here. Get in here, you little gimp. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah. Say hello to your public again, Lilo. Okay. It's more than long enough for people to not care. Scooch! Scooch, pooch! That is the Lilo. That is the gimpy one. Who's decided now that he's going to sit underneath me? Okay. No, no, don't mind me. Yes, Lilo is actually the one that caused, if you saw my pictures uh, last weekend of the uh, the Horizon Express exploded into pieces. It was 
it was him, uh, was sitting here on the table and uh, went to get up. I was making bacon and uh, went to get up. And that's a different color brown than I'm used to. It's like a light brown. And uh, he decided that he was going to be immediately underfoot as only a little gimpy bacon wanting dog can be. And I flailed and hit the table and uh, the train rolled right off the side of the table in very slow motion. Aaron saw it go over no. One piece went flying, ended up like four feet away inside of a box. I also agree with the Sunstorm isn't a real seeker camp. It's alright, Ken, you can be a chicken shit. Building a little side counter piece for the. Looks like it's probably just like a one off teller spot. Well, you can ask Pete if they have any plans for it. So this is actually kind of neat. So it has a, uh, a keyboard piece and a computer piece that it shows you putting them at an angle and offset on each other in order to make it look like, like it's sitting there straight. Well, though, if the man says he's going to get you an interview, he, he should probably get you an interview and not blow you off or forget about it. But, but hey.
Exactly. That's we didn't even talk the fun pub story in the podcast last night. And get these across the top. I'll block all that in. I want to make a little little planter to go in the corner here. Get this. Got that. The, the security truck. Um, I've got another floor still to build of this, it looks like. Uh, little flowers. Oh. There we have a little planner. Come on, focus on the thing that's close to you. There we go. It's in the corner there. Yes, indeed. That's what it was sold as. Actually, on the on the box on the back, it says "Tiny Bank Yo." On there too. Oh, does this one? Yeah, it does. It's the the cop saying "Hey" because that's the one word that they can use in in Lego and get away with it. It's like Simslish. These get city and bank. Now you can't do hello because you have different languages. Hola, bonjour. However, hey is pretty universal. Because everything else is on is in at least three languages on this bad boy. On about every one of these boxes. Oh EU, you're so funny. Or this may even be just Oh NAFTA. You're so funny. Uh, 
this and this on the top of it. So lock it all together. In front, I think the ATM is going to go here. this put on top of it. Oh, that's cute. So, the back of this gets the clock. So when this goes in here, the teller has a clock to look at. But the bad guy can come and jimmy this thing out and take off with the ATM. That's actually pretty cool. I'm going to lose you here shortly. Who are you podcasting with? Do they love you as much as I do? Yep. There it is, finished. But then the robber can come and take off with it. I may have ended up with an extra tube. An extra plan, at least. Just filling up my extra parts bucket. Bag number four. I don't need this plate. I've got a few of them. But rather than dip them to my my overstock supply, I'll, uh, I'll use the one provided, I guess. Starting out about the same way the other one did. So you're saying is I should get up on the mic whenever I do it? luck with that. Did you just think what you typed out there real loud? Ichabod.
Shoot. Then we build. Bombing KC, you saw Looper, right? I mean, I don't think in the course of the movie they say Kansas City, but Kansas City. That's fine. Vent brain thoughts here all you want. Seems the best place for a vault in Lego City is on the second story. Because that's where they put their gold bricks. No, it didn't. Damn it, now I want to go back and play some more Saints Row. Maybe even start a new game so I'm not my super ultra powerful, nothing bothers me. Oh. Oh, that's a tank. Okay, well, let's just start shooting at it with a pistol until it blows up. I guess I do have it on Steam now. I need to get myself a uh, wired Xbox controller. Did you start out as a dude? No. Because that would have made that a little bit more awkward. I don't shake ranch. You shake Italian. And that's about it. Got some 
some flowers for this floor. I, I, okay. I don't see the normal trap dory piece that generally goes in this. Might maybe just jamming that in somehow. That might be what I'm doing. Oh, not because it's the same. No, it's a different piece than that. It's the same piece as that, but in transparent blue. That's what it is. City Bank sign. He's busy, busy studying those pictures. Yes, but the problem is, is that Joe came across it, shared it, and then has left. Granted, he may be podcasting, but we know what he's doing. Oh, there he is. You can't just dot 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 at me. Well, I mean, you can, but... It's great that you can immediately recognize that sound. Uh, 
Now I'm making a sunroof. It just is happenstance that it's an open piece. We have a uh, a roof that we can open and close. Which, granted, really bad idea on the upper floor level of the bank vault. I will say this, where they could have gone with plates, they went with, with full brick, so it actually looks like a sizable uh, vault door. Never mind the fact that there's a huge gap up on top that somebody could get into it, but... Minor details, I guess, for Citibank. I got the last sticker. With random tiny print numbers. That our cashier is, is going to put into the bank, into the ATM, maybe. I don't know. So that is the Lego City Bank and Money Transfer. Edis extras. It comes with two extra little pipes. Do things with these. But yes. Set number three six six one. The probably the last year of doing four digit set numbers. It's a gift from my girlfriend for Christmas. So thanks for watching this video. If you're in the live chat, hang on. I'm gonna keep broadcasting. <laughs>